What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell I Doing? And this week, well, we already know what I'm doing. Everybody expected it since last week and the week before. I picked the Seahawks to win the Super Bowl, and they didn't get out of the first real round of the playoffs. Uh, well, technically the second, I guess, but really the first, you know, divisional round that counted. Um, so, yeah, they're done. They're done, and I bet death shots on them, so here I am with the death shots, and uh, I got to pay my punishment for that, and I will in a moment. But uh, first, make sure you subscribe. We need to get the subscribers up. Still under 260. Got to get those numbers to 300 to see me do that chili nightmare chocolate bar. I don't even remember what it's called anymore. I got to get those numbers up. It's, it's worth it to get me to 300, and I promise you I'll do it. So let, let's get those subscribes going up. Click that button. Hit the thumbs up. Comment. You know, I love the engagement I'm getting, and I appreciate everybody that's watching. Um, so just let's keep growing this thing so we can make it crazier. So uh, that's out of the way. Um, and I'm going to make another bet. So tonight's UFC 246. It's uh, McGregor versus Cerrone. And uh, obviously a lot of people are writing off Cerrone. And, you know, rightfully so. He's on a guy. He's... Not really on a great streak. He's lost four of his last, or he's only won four of his last ten fights. Um, you know, he's a warrior and he's been in some great wars. But every time he's ever had a big chance or an opportunity for a title, uh, you know, or to be involved in title talks, he seems to choke in those big fights. So, um, you know, tonight's one of those fights where he could very well choke in the spotlight again. And he's also being chosen because he's been around for a long time. And he's he's a little bit war broken. And, uh, you know, he, it could be his last fight. Any fight could be his last fight. Um, but he is dangerous. He does have skill. He's been around welterweights longer than Connor, So he could take a big punch from guys that are bigger than Connor. So I think, you know, that could factor in very quickly if, if he can handle a punch from like that still. Um, I'm not a believer in McGregor. Everybody knows that. I, I, I'm not a fan of his. I hate his fans. If you're my fans, I'm sorry. But uh, a lot of his fans are insufferable idiots. And if you're an intelligent MMA fan, sorry, I'm not talking to you. But there's these guys that only watch McGregor that are really stupid and do a lot of stupid things. so Or say a lot of stupid things. And they're just annoying. And he seems to have a lot of those. But I also just, I don't like how he's got a little bit of a phony thing going on. Yeah, he's a double champ, blah, blah, blah. But he's never defended any belt he's won. Um, you know, and he went off the rails big time. And I think he's overhyped. And I think he was exposed. And I think he still could be exposed tonight. I mean, obviously the odds are not in Cerrone's favor, but he has a chance. And if the fight goes longer than a round or two, he has a good chance. If he, if he tries to take this fight down, he has a chance. So, um, I'm going to make a bet. I'm going to make a ballsy bet. I'm putting my balls on the table. I'm picking Cerrone. Now, my head's telling me that's not going to happen. That's certainly not the design of this fight. Cerrone is mostly an opponent because he's, you know, he's war-torn and everything else. Uh, there were better guys Connor could fight, but this is the fight they probably feel he has the best chance of winning. And uh, they're going to give him a title shot if he wins this fight, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, but what do you expect? This is what they do. So that's another reason why I want Cerrone to win. I'm not a McGregor fan. I don't like this fake, phony buildup and all these chances they give him. The guy doesn't deserve a sniff at any title. Uh, so I'm going to bet a death shot again for Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I do believe he has the skills and the ability to win the fight. It's just that it's such a big moment. I don't know if he'll be able to show up. He usually has problems with that. But maybe now at this point of his career, he won't. So let's go, Cowboy. Get her done. All right. It's time to pay the price for last week's or two weeks ago bad choices. I guess last week and two weeks ago because I kind of reiterated last week that Seattle was going to win. So, uh, you know, um, it's going to suck. I'm going to do that much this time. That's the most I've done of either tincture. It's pretty much a quarter, maybe just under, maybe 22%. Um, this is going to suck. Make sure you all like, share, and subscribe. Go Leafs, go. I'm picking the Leafs to win tonight. I'm not betting on them, as I always say. That's like a rule. So, yeah, there's my punishment. And I'll do at least this if McGregor wins. Mm. Oh, oh, 
man, that's hot. Oh, oh. At first, it's just like, whoo. And I'm not as used to this heat because I haven't been eating Reapers lately. Oh. Oh, man. It's like a fire just burning through a field of dry hay. <sighs> Spreading through my mouth, into my throat. Oh. But that's what happens when you pick the wrong team to win. You pay the price. You lose your money if you bet money, or you lose your pride, and you burn your mouth with this stuff. If you're me. Oh. I hope Cerrone wins so I don't have to do this next week. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. 33 Reapers in that bottle. It is so intense. Whew. I'm not getting the hiccups, but I feel like I could. I feel like it's a building a bubble up right here. Oh, it's intense. It's intensifying in my throat. It starts away right away like a four. It's like a four and a half, five now. Oh, oh. yeah, I've done this a couple times now. If you haven't seen, I did this for the last UFC with Holloway losing. Ugh. Not good. Ugh. It burns bad in my throat, especially. Not so much the tongue. Whew. It's a cold, brutal day outside here in Canada. It's like a storm right now. It's snowing like crazy. We haven't seen that that much lately. It's been a pretty green winter. But today sucks. But it's how we're burned up here today. Whew. Damn those Seahawks. Oh. I think we're peaking. Oh. Alright, subscribe, check out last week's video, check out this video, and tune into the fights tonight, see if I'm going to be doing this again next week, if McGregor wins, he better not. Thanks for tuning in.